step ahead to Minwoo Lee at two. Can he use the backstop? You can see Pin just down in a little valley on that right-hand side today. We saw Minwoo Lee absolutely crush one down the second. Just a little flick onto the green. Has this for Eagle. And neither line nor length in tune there, but that is the easiest of birdies for the young Aussie star. I head to three and Min Woo. Playing 166 metres for the guys today. Over to Min Woo. From sister to brother. This for birdie tracking. Especially with the pin all 31 paces on. Yeah, it's an intimidating set or third shot in there today. I mean, that's a that's a heck of a golf shot in there. Um, it's pretty easy to miss that left and, and leave yourself no no shot. This is this is the part you want. Pretty, it should be pretty straight um, into the wind as well, and that that's definitely picking up more than more than one on the field. I think that that hole will definitely average over five today. So playing for position does bottleneck in with a, a little kind of almost waste area down that left hand side. Bunkers on the right. Ryan, this kid's some sort of player, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's got a lot of game. Does every everything very well. Should be a nice little putt for Min up here. Pretty, pretty straight. Uh, shouldn't have too much effect with the breeze, with the bunker stopping the breeze coming. And just see it, just see it start to wobble at the end on the breeze. It's you know, even the sheltered greens are still getting affected by it at the moment. Now it's seven, this wonderful short par three. Wu Li putting down the slope for his birdie. Just shows you don't need a long par three for it to be a good one. Two from the lead is the West Australian. He's got the power to crush it low. Oh, that's a good-looking golf shot. If it just gets over that ridge, still a lovely piece of work from Min Woo Lee. Now, Min Woo Lee. This to get within one of the lead. Oh, indeed! For Min Woo Lee. These young Australians delighting the galleries at 13th Beach. Down. There, there is a little bit of room that opens up on the right, but if you're not in it, it's dense in the tea tree. Well, that's suggesting he went left. It looked like he came out of it to me. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident. Yeah, that. Watch the hands. disappointed but really that's a pretty decent home from that very thick grass these shots are nice to play around to get that lovely firm turf and you can really bash down on the back of the ball he'd be a little disappointed with that I imagine great career on the European tour Min Woo tries to get up and down for his part. Beautiful save. Min Woo Lee. Birdie part for the outright lead at the championship. Up to 
settle for a, a par five. We're blessed, aren't we, Grant? We are in the uh, company of golfing royalty. Great Laura Davies, Min Woo Lee. Wow, such beautiful touch. He's got it all, this guy. That's the one thing that was probably the question. We know how hard and long he hits the ball, but this part of his game to go from being outstandingly talented to being a winner, as you've predicted him to be. Have you, have you played much with, with Min Wu, Anthony? Yeah. I have. I, he's a few years younger than I am, but I played a little bit with him at the back end of my amateur career. Uh, and he showed a lot of promise from a pretty young age. And, and obviously now he's turning into a really impressive player and looks like he can do some pretty big things in the game. This should be an interesting little stripe we're seeing by Min Wu Lee out on 15. Nearly hit an iron on this green yesterday. The men's leader, Min Woo Lee. Scorching three wood to here. And that to double his advantage at the top of the leaderboard. 13 under is the men's lead. But that could change. It will change if this goes down for the West Australian. Min Woo Lee liked it as soon as he struck it. Hundred and eighty metre par three. Cross breeze. And well. Pitching downwind, so that will be challenging, but uphill, par putt from around 30 feet for Min Woo Lee to stay at 14 under, and he's jammed that. Why, whoa, whoa, whoa. Our leader has one to play on a day where he has picked up two shots, currently one clear of his nearest rival. So pure. Had a little trouble off the tee here yesterday with the iron in hand, but this is why he oh, hits it. Wow, look at that go. An iron off the tee to a par five. And this is what Minwoo's got in. Just underlines the, the weaponry that he has in his arsenal and that is astonishing exceptional from our tournament leader on a really tough day howling wind this for a round of 68 four under par for Minwoo Lee he's got it turn tomorrow. Min Woo Lee, what a wonderful finish. An eagle three on the closing hole to give himself a three shot buffer going into tomorrow. He's the happiest man at 13th Beach at the moment. I think he's just been checking all the congratulate congratulatory texts I think that have just come in. Min Woo Lee, what a grandstand finish. Eagle on the 18th. Extraordinary. Can you talk us through your thought process for that shot? Uh, well, I didn't realise that drive went that far. Uh, I didn't think he was going to go that far with a two iron and had a nice nine iron in and I didn't, I missed my target by a few metres uh, right but it ended up going, you know, just over the bunker and I had a ten footer so um, yeah, I'm glad I hold the putt. 
Well, you stepped away from it a couple of times. So was the oscillation of the ball? Was it the wind that was playing tricks? Yeah, it was a bit of both. Um, it's so hard to just pull the trigger when the ball's or when there's so much wind and you just don't know if it's going to stop or keep going. So, um, yeah, I mean, all of us had a bit of trouble uh, today, but I think we handled it pretty good. Yeah, I think that's an understatement. You made it look really simple on a day when low scores were hard to come by. Uh, talk, us, talk to us about your course management, um, how that process works for you. Yeah, um, yeah. me and Shane had, you know, really good numbers and uh, we just saw really good shapes and I think it was probably one of the best rounds I've ever played, um, regardless of score. I mean, I've hit it pretty pretty solid, you know, there was two a couple shots that were bad, but, uh, you know, that happens in 50k wins, so, you know, I'm pretty happy and uh, should, yeah, I should be proud of the way I played. I think everyone will be, particularly your family. Sister Minji's had uh, success here. Do you think it's your turn? Uh, hopefully, uh, that would be nice, but, um, you know, obviously, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how she's going, but hopefully she's playing okay and um, we can we can toss it out to the end. Just finally, uh, Mum's here and I think Grandma as well, you've been enjoying some of her cooking. Is that your secret weapon? <laughs> I don't know, I think it is, but um, I think I've played 20 tournaments and it's cooking 20 to 1 and I think it's gone pretty good, so we might be having that a bit more this year. <laughs> Outstanding effort today. Congratulations and best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Cheers. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.